All right, so we talked about, um, you know, one of the most important things that you need to bring to the range is a first aid kit. Um, you know, you never know when an accident can happen. Um, you are um, having a small explosion essentially go off in your hands, shooting a bullet down the barrel, um, and things can happen. You know, the gun can explode. Um, you know, ricochets can happen. All kinds of things can happen. So it's better uh, to be prepared um, and not need the stuff than not be prepared and you absolutely need it. Because I can tell you right now, something as simple as some of those things that I have on, on this table could save your life and literally be the difference between life and death. So we're gonna just kind of review over a, a few of the basic stuff that I have in here that I think is essential for every um, gun owner um, to have in their first aid kit whenever they come out to the range. So let's just first talk about um, some, of the, some of the simple stuff. So you're shooting a, a firearm that has a lot of gas and stuff that can come. So one, hopefully you have your eye protection on at all times uh, whenever you do shoot. Um, but if in case you get something in your eye, you can have something as simple as sterile water, you know, to be able to pour it. And it doesn't have to be this, it could be, you know, bottles of water. But have something that you can be able to rinse out your eyes if you do get some kind of blowback or, or powder or whatever, or if it's a windy day and uh, you get dust in your eye or whatever it may be, because, you know, we all have had something stuck in our eye and then it's irritating and you have to be able to get it out and I'd hate to cut the range day short because I didn't, wasn't prepared to be able to rinse it out. A lot of things that people don't think about, um, you know, chapstick, you know, especially during the summertime, um, just to keep um, everything fine. Uh, also sunscreen, you know, you're out in the sun and you're getting your vitamin D, uh, however, you know, people don't remember that and by the end of the day, even if it's a cloudy day, guys, um, still wear, wear uh, sunscreen, so bring some sunscreen out. Um, now, whenever someone gets shot by a bullet, obviously it's gonna cause a lot of damage and they're gonna bleed out. So we have to have things that will stop the bleeding. So um, one thing that I highly recommend to have in your kit is lots of bandaging, um, you know, cause we're gonna have to be able to bandage and keep it tight. But only that, you have to have some kind of ace wrap or some kind of compression bandage. So once you have that in, cause you know, maybe you, it's just you and another person, now you have to drive. And so this will help you um, keep the bandages compressed and in place. Um, cause whenever it comes to bleeding, you know, pressure your friend. Um, you know, we teach a trauma aftermath class at LNL. Um, you know, it's about a four hour class. So we teach you how to utilize all this stuff. So if you're not medically trained, we can kind of show you how to use it. Um, you won't be certified in any of it. It's more of a demonstration to kind of show you um, you know, because you can get all of this stuff off, off the internet. They make, they uh, pre-sell some of these first aid kits on the internet. Um, just be careful what you buy because, you know, they're not all made the same. Um, the next thing, um, for some reason, if you were to get shot in an extremity, you need a way to stop that. And um, if you hit an artery, you can literally bleed out in less than five minutes. So um, a tourniquet is a good thing to have. Um, that way, if you do hit an artery, you can apply that tourniquet, it'll stop, stop the bleeding at that time and buy you time to get to a surgeon because ultimately trauma needs a surgeon to fix it. Um, but, you know, not all gunshots happen to the arms or the legs. What if you got shot in the neck? Or what if you got shot in the stomach or the chest? You need uh, something else called quick clot. So this is a bandage that's impregnated with some uh, clotting factor that you can push on the injury, stuff down in it, and it will help your body clot um, the wound off. Again, buying you time to get to a surgeon where you ultimately need to be. Um, you know, if you were to get shot in the chest, it could cause what we uh, call a sucking chest wound. Um, so what you'd have to do is put an occlusive dressing such as this over the sucking chest wound um, to stop, you know, because as you, as that wound gets worse, it can um, deflate your lung and cause you have a lot of problems. So something as simple as that. Now, when you go online, you're gonna see a lot of different options and stuff like that. Some of them are gonna have like a needle decompression kit. Yeah, yes, you're right, you're never gonna use this. However, don't throw it out of the kit because there may be someone that's also on the range, like a doctor or you know a paramedic or somebody that could potentially save your life you know, using one of these. So. Whatever comes in the kit, I would say leave it in the kit. Um, if you really truly want to go off my recommendations, I would say I would probably pack more heavily towards bandaging and stuff like that and quick clot and some, you know, I would probably keep at least two tourniquets in my kit 
just so you um, can have a way to stop the bleeding ultimately. Now, last but not least, but also more important is this little guy right here, Band-Aids. You know, I can't tell you how many times people will grab the gun wrong and instead of grabbing the gun properly with both thumbs forward, dominant thumb over non-dominant thumb, they're crossover. In a later video, we'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. But then that slide comes back and it bites them every time. And you know, you gotta have a way to be able to stop the bleeding because if you wanna stay out here, you wanna continue shooting. So band-aids are also important. Uh, other things that are on the table, but um, Tylenol, something that, you know, for a headache, that you, if you have a headache, if you have allergies, maybe some kind of allergy medicine, um, you know, if you're a place where you can potentially get be stung by a bee, um, you know, stingies, there's all kinds of little things that you can add into your, your kit just to more for comfort. But the main things is, you know, for life-saving interventions is such things as um, a tourniquet, you know, your grip clot bandaging and a lot of, uh, you know, ace wraps and, and stuff. And one last thing, uh, this is called Sam Splint. Um, it can kind of form to around this. For some reason you fall, break your arm, you can be able to split it in place and wrap it with an ace wrap. So just another uh, thing that you can have in your tool. So guys, uh, my name is Joey. Uh, I own Root Tactical. Uh, we're at l, &L Outdoors and Jay. This is uh, a first aid kit. This is what I highly recommend. Uh, and we'll see you guys soon.